If you've come to this channel and this video, then you're probably having some issues with the Vita database or shark food. And that is because when you jailbreak and try to load the Vita database, it will freeze without having the correct runtime packages and the correct updated files. So in this video, I'm gonna try to show you what that looks like and what we need to do to fix this. So as you can see, I'm just trying to run shark food. It just basically freezes up and doesn't work. And I'm going to show you the method that most everyone has success with, which is just installing the runtime PlayStation mobile packages in. So you can find these under the settings and under the PlayStation mobile. So you can see there's just a dash. So what you're going to need to do is take a look at the links in my description and you're going to download the runtime packages. Um, you're going to download the VPK as well, and you need to put those on the root. Um, and the runtime packages need to be placed inside of a folder that you've named package on the root of your Vita that you can access in Vita Shell later. As you can see here, I uploaded the three in. Now back in Vita Shell, I am on the UMAO, which is the root folder on my Vita, and you can see the package folder and the VPK here. So I'm going to go ahead and install the VPK so that that's taken care of. And I'm not going to double check anything. I'm just going to go right into my UXO. Okay. Or I need to copy my uh, package folder. I'm sorry, from the UMAO. So I'm going to copy this entire folder, which has my runtime packages. And I'm going to move this folder. Actually, you can copy or paste. It doesn't really matter, but I'm just going to move the entire folder over to my UXO. Hit triangle, paste, and now the files are in the correct place and my VPK is launched. So next I'm going to open up the PKG installer or the package installer. It'll look like this. I'm going to update from the file. And as you can see, each one has to be done in order and I've circled them here. So it's 100, then the 2.0, then the 2.1 which show up as 100, 200, and 201. So we'll start with the smallest one. That is the first one we need to update for 1.0. And this will take just a moment. Let's go back out and double check. So if I go after installing the first 1.0 package, I should be able to see that successfully updated and you can see 1.0. So let's go back in and install the other two. Okay, next we're going to do the 200, which is the 2.0, right where it says 80, 200. So take just a moment and I'm not going to double check this one because there's not really any issues that pop up so we're just going to go ahead and right on top of that install the next update which is the 201 aka 2.1 runtime package All right let's take a look and make sure that we are up to date and then try to relaunch Vita database so i'm going to go under settings systems playstation mobile and we are on the 2.01 runtime package. Now let's see if the Vita database will work. I'm going to run shark food first. Now you need to make sure that you have the lib check and the correct kernel updates for this. Okay, so it's just a little pop-up. And then this next section, I have sped up the process, but it took several, several minutes to update everything. So as you can see, lots of load screens. This took probably about, I don't know, somewhere to upwards of five minutes in order for it to work. As you can see, after everything is installed, that the database is up and working. Thank you so much. Like, subscribe for more content. I just recently picked up a new Vita, so I'll be posting some more Vita videos here soon.